So if it wasn't for questionable decisions, I'm about to try this and that is cut this large, it's a two inch thick, 10 inch round piece of CPVC. I'm gonna try to split it, shim the split, clamp it back in the vise, roll it over, and then split it on the other side. I need this in two sections for a project that I gotta do in the morning. It's a side project, we're not gonna go into what it's for, but I can't afford to hacksaw this thing and get it to wander all crazy and I, it's not a good idea to cut around in the bandsaw, vertical bandsaw like this, and my little horizontal saw won't handle it. It's just outside of the scope of all my machines, except for if I had a real long parting blade, maybe I could do it in the lathe. Not for sure, but I think this will work about the same as probably the lathe would. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not confident with any machine that I have doing this operation. I think this is about as best as an option as I have, and I'm gonna use cutting oil on it because it won't hurt a thing to use cutting oil on CPVC, and that'll keep the chips from welding to the blade and cause me all kinds of problems. So. This may be interesting. It very well may pull this right out of the vise, but I've got it cutting in a way to where it should just pull it up and away, I'm hoping. I'm just gonna feed by hand, see how it feels. Boom. One side. Knocking the stuff off. Well, if I can get that kind of cut on the other side, maybe a couple more, and maybe I'll flip it a couple times and saw right at the center, maybe with hacksaw, but that is working. So that blade is 3 16 of an inch wide, and because I gotta flip this thing and then clamp it, I don't wanna squeeze that gap closed. Wouldn't have no, nothing to clamp on or no clamping power. So, got a piece of A2 here that's the same width. Just stuck it in there. That way when I clamp this thing, you know, you know what I mean. It'll hold. All right, let's see how this goes. This is as big a saw as this machine will run. 
were missing the rams with the teeth by about a half inch, maybe. Well, I'd have to say that worked pretty darn good, even though I, <laughs> I didn't think that it would, but it did. Sometimes you just gotta try stuff. And I know I don't have an excellent cut on this side, but it is really, really good. This is going in the lathe anyway to get cleaned up. But check that out. Boom, exactly what I wanted. So I'm, I'm actually shocked that that worked. I'm glad that it worked because I need that material early in the morning to get what I need to get done, done or to move forward on a project that I'm working on outside of the channel. That worked really well. I had that saw blade buried. I'm glad I used cutting oil too because it gave me a great finish. I don't have to do anything to that side of the, for what I'm using that stuff for. I don't have to do anything really to that uh, cut side of the stock. Excellent. And lots of messy chips. It's just always the case with plastics. And these happen to be full of oil, so I'm just gonna let them sit on the table overnight, let them drain out, and uh, clean up this mess then. The oil circulating pump on this is working excellent. There's some people out there who are probably wondering, because I did a lot of work to this machine and I had problems with it, but haven't any problems since I got it all back together. It pulls the oil up every time the first time. So there's a little closer look at the PVC chunk or puck that we split. And that turned out much better than what I was thinking. Can you imagine holding this up, upright, a piece like that, trying to push it through a vertical bandsaw? And it's spinning on you and locking the blade up and wandering all over the place. It'd be tough. So given the machines and stuff that I have available, uh, this was my only real option to get this thing in half and not, you know, risk wasting it too much of it. That worked really well. A little edge there, but for my needs, that wouldn't even make any difference. But uh, we'll stick that in the lathe and dust it off just to make it nice parallel. There you go. Split with a horizontal milling machine and a really big split slitting saw.